Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Today I am with LG Jyotishwara, a multifaceted personality. Uh, today we are going to discuss about why do we need to read books. So, what is the need of reading a book? I invite uh, LG Jyotishwara to our show. Sir, Namaskara. Namaskara, good afternoon. Uh, very nice, warm hello to everyone. <laughs> In today's digital age, why should anyone read a physical book at all? That's a very nice question. I'd like to begin by recalling what John Milton has said. Hmm. He says, a good book is the lifeblood of a master spirit. Okay. Taking off from that, what we can perceive today hmm. is that a good book always broadens your horizon. The very act of reading the book gives you a lot of learning, both in terms of revisiting the book if you're reading it a second or third time, and also in diving into the beauty of language. Today, we are very hurried for time. Everything is almost instant, from instant coffee to everything, everything is instant. But a book always helps you to pause, helps you to look at life slower, ponder and also learn better. That would be the strongest case to read a physical book as you very pointedly asked. This may not be available to you mm. when you look at it hurriedly on an internet page or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, internet now chart GPT and Google uh, give us virtually almost all the information what we need at the click of a button. Uh, where does that leave the need for reading? That's exactly where books come in. Okay. Because your internet study can't tell you everything. Hmm. We have this misinformation that Google tells us and knows everything. That is the first misnomer. Hmm. Yes, Google and ChatGPT are aids which make our life easier when we are in a hurry to either write an article or gain information or an insight. But they are after all our own creations and it is here that books score for an extended study, for a better understanding and to bring back the romance of the written word. This is not available to you in, a, in an internet page or the Google. There it is compressed and more often than not, the information on Google is more towards gossip, entertainment and such other very ephemeral, so to say, that is uh, things which don't have a lasting value. Whereas a book, whether it is from Chanakya or Cicero or Homer, they have the same value even after thousands of years. And it can be so thousands of years later also. Okay. And in that context, uh, internet is just a storehouse of information. Yes. And today we are an over-informed world. <laughs> we, we know, we decide everything on the spur of a moment simply because a WhatsApp message says so. Yes. We do not pause to verify whether it is true or factual. And that is a luxury which you can't afford on internet, which is afforded by a book. Well, uh, that leads us to the realm of research, which is an extremely important area. Yes. You have rightly pointed out that authenticity is there at books. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that authenticity is not there in the online I, I wouldn't broadly say that. It, it is less, less as compared to books. Okay. When you look at a research volume, mm. it is the result of years of research and condensation into a proper tome or a volume. Many PhDs which are efforts of research are also similar okay. and therefore research and therefore the books which publish these researches are more reliable mm -hmm. and more authentic Correct. comparatively. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the relevance or uh, necessity of encyclopedia and dictionaries? Mm, well, definitely they are always very reliable sources of information because most of them keep getting updated. Hmm. 
in a very striking instance, the recent edition of the Oxford Dictionary okay. carries 5,000 words of Indian origin, starting with chutney. <laughs> so, these give you a great deal of uh, okay. leverage. Okay. Yes. Do the performing arts and books about them have a future? Of course. As long as performing arts are watched, listened to and absorbed, mm. the books about them are also equally mm. important as historical documents to speak to the generations that come later. Okay. And therefore, reading a book is always a pleasure. <laughs> what about e-books? Well, e-books are very useful when you are on a run and uh, mm. they, they compress information into a nicely okay. done format. And similarly, audio books, mm. you can listen to them while driving mm. and they can allow you to have a peek or a sneak preview, so to say, into what the book may tell you later. Okay. Is reading a hobby or a habit? Well, both. Huh. And I have known people who make it a passion to read every day. Hmm. And uh, they normally are more ahead than others. Okay. People who are well read definitely are more successful, are able to be better communicators hmm. and are also up to date. Hmm. That's very, very important. That's one of the main advantages of reading okay. and being up to date. Uh, can we really identify uh, the reader and the non-reader through his actions or the behavior? That goes into the realm of synectics, but hmm. well, to a fair extent you can. Okay. Simply by listening to the way they quote something hmm. or present a particular pro you know, project or a piece of information, hmm. the non-reader has very little to say hmm. except his or her opinion, hmm. whereas a well-read person can quote extensively hmm. and also validate it with his or her reading. Correct. See, our organization's name and our YouTube channel name is Transformation Unlimited. Uh -huh. uh, uh, whether reading helps for our transformation? Absolutely. In fact, reading and as its extension listening okay. will create a world that is on to transformation. <laughs> Transformation is the very purpose of listening, reading, yes. writing and the four hours. And therefore, definitely reading books can transform your life for the better. Yes. Uh, see, reading is a part of communication skill. Yeah. So, uh, how reading helps to improve our communication skills? Reading is fundamental to the way you communicate. Mm. It helps your vocabulary to expand. It helps your uh, deeper understanding of subjects mm. and exchange of that information in discussions of various types helps you to sharpen that mm. and reading up on periodicals helps you to be current and up to date and therefore reading is a very integral part of being a communicator. Yes, by reading a book uh, I hope or I suggest you can change or transform your personality. Uh, so I thank uh, Mr. L.G. Jyotishwara, uh, who has uh, enlightened us about the reading. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you. Read, read on.